there, this is Jessica with Joyful and Simple Designs. Today we are going to go over how to create this FFA emblem in Cricut Design Space. So first we are going to open up a new project. Now we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to go to FFA.org. Once we are on FFA.org, we are going to search emblem downloads. We'll scroll down until we see <coughs> downloads. So click on that. We'll scroll down again and we will click on the FFA emblem. The first option is going to be personal use. So click on that folder and click on the black and white. <clears throat> and we want the image that says PNG. So not the second one, but that first one, the one that says black PNG. We'll click on it, we'll download it to our computer, <clears throat> and I'm going to click on that file. And I want to save it to my computer so I know where to find it. So I'll save as... I'm just saving it as FFA emblem. And then I'm going to open up the Cricut Design Space program. So we already have our new project open. We're going to upload. Then we're going to image upload, browse our computer. And so wherever you saved your file to, you're going to find it and open it. And this is going to be a simple picture. So I'm going to zoom out so I can see most of it. And if we click on that little wand, we can erase things, uh, each little symbol separately. But to save some time, I am going to click on the eraser and we can choose how big we want that to be. And then I'm just going to carefully erase all of the image that I don't want. So here I am going to erase the inside because I'm going to put a, a saying inside the middle when we get back into design space. So I'm going to just keep erasing until I'm happy with the image. And I'll scroll down a little bit and keep going. And you can leave as much of the image that you want or you can take out as much of the image. It's completely up to you. So if by chance I erase a part that I don't want to erase, I can then click undo and it'll come back. So it's an easy fix. Once I think I'm done, I will push the preview button and I see a couple spots that I want to fix. So I'm just going to go over them again. And once I'm happy, I can preview it. It looks good to me. So I'm going to press continue. I'm going to cut, save this as a cut image just because I mostly make stencils, so I'm going to cut it out. So I'm going to click on that image that we uploaded, and we're going to insert it. So it pops up. I'm going to zoom out so I can see it.
Now I'm going to add a text. And because the creed is so important, I'm going to write, I believe in the future of agriculture. I'm going to center it. I'll click on alignment, center. Then I'm going to change the font. And I'm going to use a font that I got from dafont.com, D-A-F-O-N-T.com. And I think it's just a pretty script. And then I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so we can see what we're working with. And then I'm going to change the letter space because I want those letters to be a little bit closer together. And we can move the image. I like it centered. Before we make it, we have this little orange, <clears throat> we have this little orange triangle and that's just saying that our image is too big to cut on one of the mats, so we have to adjust the size of it. So after I've adjusted the size, I can make it. And then my project is ready to go. This can be cut, printed. It's Please like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel.